it's on. Uh, in the last court case, uh, I decided to choose Wood versus uh, Boyton. Uh, in the case of Wood versus Bo uh, Boyton, uh, it was on October 13, 1885. I'm having like a, a, dang, a century ago. It took place in the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. The plaintiff of uh, the case was Woods, while the defendant was Sam Samuel Bo Boyton. In December 8th of 1883, Wood was the owner of a jewelry store. Wood had sold Bolton a stone for $1. After this deal was done, it was determined that the stone was really worth $700. Sam had never seen an uncut diamond, but didn't think the stone was a diamond. After learning of the stone's true value, the plaintiff had gave the defendant $1 plus 10 cent interest and had demanded the return of the stone. The defendant didn't give the stone back, so this was when the lawsuit came into place. This law ruled in a situation that the sale was reconceded and that the vendor reinvested it. The vendee had competed, committed fraud in purchasing a sale to be made to him. The mistake by the vendor in the delivering on an article which was not so the Supreme Court of Wisconsin determined that the seller failed to make out a case for either reason of the receding the sale. The court also affirmed the judgment would be a ruling of the plaintiff. And that's all for this court case. But seven things before I go that I want to add to this court case. Uh first off, I think that the plaintiff should uh research uh research what he was selling to uh, the defendant first off because I feel like a lot of people don't really know what they're selling don't even know what, really what they're selling to someone until it's actually gone and I feel like that's what this was what this situation was secondly I feel that uh, I feel as if that the defendant shouldn't have to give back something that was already purchased and uh, purchased already because sometimes people don't want to do refunds back to people because it, Hey, it was a deal, and you got the short end of the stick, as you would say. And I just really feel like he shouldn't have went to court for something like that. I just feel like the plaintiff should have just took his loss and kept pushing. But, hey, the plaintiff took it to court because he felt like he was ripped off with what he had sold. So, thirdly, I feel as if uh, the Supreme Court shouldn't have really took this up. Not in the Supreme Court because they should have took up some oppressing matter, but... I feel like the defendant really, 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 really shouldn't have went to court for this because I feel like it was ridiculous. I really do. And fourthly, um, I feel like next time the plaintiff actually does something like this, he should he should do his research to avoid all of this whole situation happening again. And thank you. That's all. You all have a great day.